So here I'm going to explain you how to do basic things in a Java based web application. First of all, I have uh, uh, I'm using Eclipse first of all, and I have categorized my content in folders like I have pages folder to keep all the JSP pages and I have a template folder just to keep all the templates like header and footer that we are going to import in our other pages. <coughs> Here I have an images folder in which I have all the images and a CSS folder in which I have written all the CSS. So let's start with a login page. It's a, it has simple trtd and a form tag here it is and I have mentioned the servlet name that is going to be hit on click of the login button here is a button type submit okay login so on click of that button the login servlet will be called and what is the login servlet let's see here is the login servlet and uh, what basically I have done here is uh, I have got uh, the response.get writer because I have to write on the user's screen so I'll be using it for that and I have retrieved the username password from the request of the user and I have created an object of dbutil it is a connection helper it will just give you a connection of the database and uh, let me show you the database also what I have created here is the database only I have two tables basically first is TBL product it has product ID image source URL product name and price per unit and uh, a TBL user with username password user type and mobile number that's it so what I will do is I'll just fetch the password of the user provided here I have placed question mark so that I could pass it in a parameter one is just for first question mark it is representing okay I have retrieved the record in, a, in the result set and uh, the next method will be used to navigate to the next record that has been retrieved so what I'm doing here is I'm just checking whether the password that the user provided and the password that is coming from the database are the same or not also the username should not be null so if user is uh, correct it will go inside the if section this block and uh, what I will do is I will create a session object I will get the session okay false is just for uh, whether the session is created or not it will create the one so session dot set attribute uh, I am setting an attribute in the session so I will explain it later for now just uh, for reference uh, response dot set uh, send redirect so after authentication it will redir redirect you to the home page home.jsp that is home.jsp and if the user is incorrect so it will go here and it will show like failure username password wrong okay and here is also if I I'm not able to access my database it will go in here and it will show the error also okay so that's it in the login so login servlet so here you can see I have stru stru structurized my code in four packages uh, first is beans they are just basically containers uh, they represent a table you can say for example I have a card bean to contain all the card objects product bean uh, to keep a product item in a single object I do not need to de declare every time a one variable for each record it will keep all the records in a single object so here I have beans and here is a DAO DAO is data access object this is basically for example I have a TBL product so it will have all the basic database operations for that 
example get by id get all so this method what it will do is it will return a product bean it will return a product so products all information on the basis of id and there is a, another method method get all what it will do is it will just return all the records in the table of product table so here's the query simple database operation has been done and it will just simply return uh, an array list of product beans so it is basically we are encapsulating the logic so whenever we i would need it i will just uh, create the product DAO and i will use it like uh, i have used in uh, i'll tell you that um, so login page is done and uh, here we go at home page so first of all i have done is i have what i have done is i have imported header.jsp so let's see what header.jsp actually is here is the header.jsp and uh, the first thing i have done here is i have retrieved the session uh, the username i have set into the session previously at the time of login so uh, first of all i will retrieve it i will check it whether it is null or not if it is null means user has not logged into the system it will re redirect back to you to the login page only and if it is not then it will work continue it will continue so this code is just to render the menu bar and uh, here are the urls simple urls and uh, here i have retrieved a username from session again and i am just showing welcome user the user object that i have retrieved here i am displaying it in the, into the h2 tag okay and uh, so this is what h2 is header is i will be importing it in my each jsp file uh, that i have to show after login so it will make sure that whether uh, user has logged in uh, if the user has logged in only it will allow user to see it otherwise it will ask for the login so this is the basic functionality i am providing over here and uh, So here is the product DAO I have created to getting all the products because I have to list list them into the JSP page. So you can see I have started the for loop and inside that loop you can see I have closed this Java code to write the my HTML code inside and uh, here it is getting closed. So in that loop, every product will be listed over here. I am retrieving it. For example, product dot list dot get index dot get image URL dot get product name dot product price and uh, get product ID also. I am just setting it into the URL. You can see over here. It will not be displayed to the user. Only the details button will be sh showed to the user and the uh, add to cart buttons will be showed. So what I have done is I am re uh, redirecting the, the user to the cards page and the product ID is passed into the, into the URL and on the cards page or the same thing I have done on the, onto the item details page. So let me show you the item details page. So what, first of all I have done is what I have done is I have retrieved the parameter that I have passed into the URL and uh, on behalf of this this and this id i am retrieving the product products complete information over here and uh, displaying it as previously i have showed you so it's so, so simple i am retailing the cart is also the same thing but with a little change Uh, so first of all uh, what I am doing is I am retrieving the session uh, cart that uh, <laughs> at first time it will uh, it will be null definitely null first time because I have not set it and uh, if it is null it will initialize it first of all and uh, retrieve the parameter that I have provided into the URL it will access it into the variable and uh, 
it will check it whether it is not null if it is not null then it will convert it into the integer and uh, on behalf of that integer i'll be retrieving the product I, uh, products information and i'll be adding into the cards item list this is this is basically a uh, array list of product b so i'm just adding it into the cart items and after that i'll be setting it into the cart in session so it will keep into the session uh, for the whole session until the user logs out to the system it will be there so here i am listing the complete all the other and i am rendering the complete cart each and every item will be i treated over here so this is what i have done till now and uh, nothing else that is left the logout servlet logout servlet is just for two lines i have written over here first thing is invalidate the session that has been created and uh, re redirect back to the login page to make sure that the any authenticated page is not access to the user thanks